Hey, what's up guys? It's me again, back with another Culture Fly box. And as you can see, this one is Star Wars. And spoiler alert, they show you everything that is in the box. I don't know why they do that. They should just list the items and not show you the actual items, so there's a little bit of an element of surprise anyway. But what is unique about this box though, is it's actually in a tin lunch box. See the, the buckle and the handle? On the side here it says Commemorative Edition Skywalker Saga. This side has nothing, it's just black. Back is just tin. Got a Culture Fly sticker on there, which I will peel off because I don't like stickers. But there is the front again. You have this nice thing from the original Star Wars. I think that was like the original movie cover, movie poster. Now there is another one of these Culture Fly lunch box boxes, and it was actually Empire Strikes Back. I went with the OG original Star Wars because I like the items better. The other one actually had a beanie instead of socks. I did like the pen in the other one better though because it was actually Carbonite Hans. The planter was a Yoda head, I believe. I may pick the other one up sometime. Right now, I don't know. But I'm going to crack this plastic off now so we can have a look at the items inside of the box. It was like an old school lunch box like I used to carry when I was a kid many moons ago. All right, and first we will pull out this Death Star mini planter. Pretty cool looking. I'm going to get out of the box now though. Not much going on on the box. So there is our Death Star mini planter. Pretty cool looking. And I will tell you that my kids have been actually using all these planters I get from these boxes as pencil holders, which I thought was a pretty genius idea because I've got about a dozen of these from these different boxes and let's face it, I'm not planting anything in them. But they are useful in other ways and that one is definitely pretty cool. Next we have our socks. One size fits most. What happened to one size fits all? Legal issue, I'm guessing, since everything's a legal issue anymore. So there is our Star Wars socks. Got your rebel symbol on there. Nice blue and gray collar. Nope, there's Lucasfilm. I guess he had to get in on that. It is his franchise after all. Next we have our pen. It says Star Wars Droids enamel pen. And the pen also just says Droids. Pretty cool little pen. I do actually wear pens on a vest I wear at work, so I may throw this on there. It's kind of big, but I do not have a Star Wars pen, so I may use that. Like I said, I did like the pen from the other set better. And last, we get this Star Wars print here. It's just like a little cardboard poster deal. Pretty cool. I really like the uh, old school look of it. Pew, pew! You know what? I don't think it was supposed to come with two, but these were kind of stuck together in there. I believe they accidentally gave me two. Yeah, see on this paper, it says art print, not art prints. There's no S on that. There's no two in front of it, so... Always cool when you get a little something extra on accident. So there's everything laid out that comes in this Culture Fly Star Wars crate. I guess we can call it a crate. There's no element of surprise to it since they list everything right on the front of the box. But if you're lucky like me, you'll get an extra print. It was a nice little surprise. But that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. I may end up getting that Empire Strikes Back box. That was kind of hard to say, Strikes Back box. These are only $20 and, you know, they're pretty good value for that. I mean, if you're just going to buy this tin lunchbox somewhere, it'd probably cost you 20 bucks. And you can never have too many socks. That's for sure. But I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now.